Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to tutorial five, which is to do with the common patterns that you'll face in abstract reasoning, covered by SPONKS. SPONKS stands for shape, position, orientation, number, color, and size. And this covers most of the possible patterns that you can get on test day in the abstract reasoning section. And in the following slides, we'll go through them step by step. And in the following tutorials, we'll go through each one in much more detail with relevant examples to illustrate. Starting with shape. Shape patterns are to do with the particular shapes and features of shapes that you see in each box. So for example, each box could have a particular shape. Set A could have a triangle in every box, whereas set B could have a circle in every box. Alternatively, the pattern could be to do with a particular characteristic of the shape. So for example, set A could have symmetrical shapes and set B could have asymmetrical shapes. Other types of characteristics are listed on the screen, such as curved versus straight, concave versus convex, right versus acute angles, or x-sided versus y-sided. Position patterns are to do with the actual arrangement and position of the shapes in the test boxes. There's many different variations here. For example, we could look at how shapes are arranged relatively to each other. In set A, there could be a triangle and square next to each other all the time, whereas in set B, there could be a triangle above a circle every time. Alternatively, there could be patterns to do with rotations, or you could have shapes arranged by feature. For example, the biggest shape could always be on the top half of a box in set A, whereas in the bottom half of the box in set B. Number patterns are to do with the number of shapes in each box. They could be to do with a specific number. For example, set A could have two shapes in each box, whereas set B could have three shapes in each box. They could be to do with odd or even. For example, set A could have an odd number of triangles in each box, whereas set B has an odd no or even number of triangles in each box. Alternatively, they could be to do with relative number. For example, set A could have more triangles than circles, whereas set B could have more circles than triangles. Number, whether it's the specific number, odd or even, or relative number, can be combined with a feature. For example, it could be the actual number of shapes, the number of intersections, the number of regions, the number of sides, or the number of right angles. Orientation patterns tend to be concentrated around two shapes, arrows and triangles, and most commonly out of the two, arrows. As we'll see in the triggers section in the next tutorial, whenever you see arrows, you always want to look for an orientation pattern because they're normally very commonly associated with arrows. Finally, colour patterns. Most shapes in the UK cat tend to be black and white for abstract reasoning. However, at times, they're bringing grey, spotted and striped shapes. And when they do, we want to look for colour patterns. Colour patterns tend to be matched with another feature in Sponks. For example, set A, could have two triangles in every uh, two black triangles in every box, whereas set B has two white triangles in every box. In this case, you're matching shape and color. Alternatively, you could have two black shapes in every box in set A, and three white shapes in every box in set B. In this case, you're matching color and number. So that summarizes Sponks in a nutshell. And over the following tutorials, we'll go through each section of Sponks and go through examples step by step to illustrate. Thank you for watching this free Medic Mind tutorial. For £30, you can unlock all 150 tutorials in our online course. The course covers four full days of UK CAT teaching, as well as a course to help you with your personal statement and interview. You're free to ask as many questions as you'd like to our teachers, and with each tutorial, you can read along using our five UK CAT ebooks covering 500 pages of theory and questions to guide you every step of the way.